Hey everybody, it's Brian from Cruising with the Colmans. If you've watched any of our past videos, you know that a little while ago, we upgraded our batteries to lithium ion batteries and we moved them under the bed. So now that gave us this empty space right here. And who's got room to have empty unused space in a travel trailer? So we thought about the fact that this would be great for some storage. And we talked to our friends over at Torque Lift and we asked them about this Power Armor battery case. Now this is a great battery case if you're looking to upgrade. The lid slides over and it opens up, comes off. We'll store two lithium batteries or two lead acid batteries, honestly, for that case. Um, it's set up for the battery cables It's really and it locks. It's really great. We thought it would be fantastic for some storage for all of our leveling equipment, like our jacks and our X chocks and all of that kind of stuff, all in one place right here on the tongue of the RV, which would then free up some pass-through space for more stuff. More so, tables, more chairs. More tables, more chairs, more of all the things that we need to enjoy our campsite. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna install this right up here. We took measurements and we thought it was all gonna work out perfectly. Turns out that the box is an eighth of an inch bigger than this space. So we've got a solution that we're gonna try out and hope that this all works. Remember, we're not experts. We don't know what we're doing. I'm just a man with some power tools ready to get to work. In order to make the box fit into our little nook we have right here, it won't fit in here because the rail is an eighth of an inch too narrow, but it does come with these little brackets to go on top. The problem with that is then it doesn't fit because it's too tall. So we are going to use these brackets and mount them down in here. But first I have to cut this railing off. I've covered um, all of our electrical and propane stuff with foils so that if there's any sparks that happen to go astray, I'm not damaging those with hot metal sparks. Uh, I don't think I really need them, but better safe than sorry at this and, point. Well, and we're camping, so we're makeshifting aluminum foil. Yeah, we are. Um, so thanks to Captain Jack Scrapper, I've got a metal grinder and uh, I'm just gonna go to town on here and cut this little vertical rail off so that I can install those brackets. Here we go. Next step is to put these cross frames in to hold everything in. Um, came with self-tapping screws, so I can just screw them right into the frame. We have the box in place, everything is ready to go. Now, uh, we also, they came with two different sets of bolts depending on your application. In the instructions, there are four different um, options for how to install. I don't think my installation totally fits in any of them, but you know, <laughs> you have to kind of make it work for your situation. Nice thing here on the box is that it can go forward or backwards. So there is a cutout here for your battery cables, but if your setup required that the battery cables come out the front, you just turn the box around. It really doesn't matter one way or the other. Uh, of course, we're not using it for any of that so it doesn't matter to us i've got these bolts a little rubber spacer the rubber spacer i'm putting here between the box and the rail just to help take out some you can see one there just to help take out some of the wiggle and the jiggle and i'm kind of getting these in place just um in a preliminary fashion so that i can then check my measurements and get it where i want it on the front to back put the propane tank cover back on so that we can get the adjustment to exactly where we want it for our maximum space. Now I just have to tighten down the bolts. It's tight fit. We're all installed and ready to go. Of course, now you're ready to put in your batteries, run your wires, your cables in through here. That's not what we're doing, of course. As we mentioned, we're using this as extra storage space. This is gonna be our leveling compartment. So we're gonna put our Anderson levelers in here, our X chocks, our regular wheel chocks. All of that's gonna fit in here pretty nicely, we think, which uh, makes this kind of a, a, the nicest X chock box ever. It's also ready if we decide to resell the rig at some point down the line, somebody else could put batteries in here if they wanted to relocate back to the front. It's just a really nice, sturdy piece of equipment. The lid slides on like so into the little tabs and then slides forward and it comes with two sets of keys and it's ready to lock up.
We're all finished with our install. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. We have links down in the bottom for torque lift. There's a link for this box down below in the description. Make sure you check it out. And of course, follow along to see more of our helpful hints and upgrades and modification videos and all the other interesting things we're doing as we take our adventure. See you later.